Just, just a quick tutorial to show you, um, walk you through how to import uh, models and assets from the asset store. So I've got Unity started up. Um, I think this is the two by yeah, this is the two by three layout uh, instead of the default layout. So, but you should both find all these windows in the default layout if you uh, don't recognize it or switch to the two by three layout here. Okay, we're going to go to Windows um, and then Asset Store, and we're going to find some assets. Uh, it opens up only in this little window, um, so you can pull this out into a larger window. So I'm going to do that so I can see more of it. Okay. So I'm going to go up to Filters, and we're just going to look at 3D models here. I'm just going to look at all the 3D models. So this brings up a nice filter page. This <laughs> so is just for an assignment, so I certainly don't want to pay for anything. So I'm just going to go free. Uh, and here's the free assets uh, that are available. Um, I'm going to uh, click on one of these. Um, and again, uh, for starters, I might want to just start with something, uh, a low poly model of some sort. Um, and uh, just since I'm trying, sometimes it takes a while to download it. So find one of these, hit the download button, and wait for it to download. So once it's downloading, it'll uh, unpack the package, and it'll ask you what parts of it you want to import. So it should pop up another window here if I'm just patient. Ah, oh, it's still decompression and stuff. But it should pop up another window over here. Yep, here it is. Oops, I'm gonna. Oops, let's get that on top. Um, there. I'm gonna resize this window so you can see all of it. So there's an import button here. Uh, I would say when you're importing a package, unless you know specifically to exclude something, to keep it all checked and hit import. Okay, then as it's importing, once it's importing, I can close this asset window, asset store window, and do that. Uh, now, where they import varies somewhat by package. So often you have to kind of look through um, your asset folders here, and often it'll your package will create a new folder in that uh, in your asset package. So under your project folder, look under your assets and look. Uh, for a folder you don't recognize. So this was the town creator kit and it was created here. Now depending on what kind of packages you created, let's see if I can get these open in a little bit, uh, you may see different things. Uh, so you might see some models that you can just click and drag. So here's a model I can just click and drag and it's already textured. So it might be a folder like that. Um, and it has the materials there. Um, you might see like this one has pre something called prefab. So look for prefab. So it's a character model. I can drag. See if, oh, there it is. And move around. Uh, so look for something called prefabs. There might have a whole scene, a sample scene you can open up, and then you can see some of the objects there uh, as a sample scene. Um, this package had uh, models, uh, but they're grouped together, and then they had prefabs. So again, I could draw these out. Now, sometimes when you draw the, bring these out, they might be below your main level or your landscape, and you may have to move them. They might also have to be resized, depending on what size they are. Sometimes they're really big or really small, and sometimes they'll come out uh, crooked. You'll have a character that <laughs> uh, should be vertical and is actually lying down or horizontal. So then you may have to rotate them also. Um, here's so this is the new one, the Town Crater Kit we did, and there's a prefab folder there, and there's folders within that. Uh, so we should be able to bring that house out here and open it up. See, so now this, oh, this is a, just a rough, uh, seems really big. So again, I may have to scale this down uh, uh, for us to to use this. So. Um, is depending on what size my character is. Okay, so that's the quick introduction uh, to importing uh, things from the asset store.